Hello again, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Advanced Workflows. In this group of lessons, we've been learning about implementing our advanced workflows for user acceptance testing. In the previous video, we discovered how setting a default global view for a given ProjectWise environment can enrich the user experience. In this video, we will learn how to conduct user acceptance testing, or UAT, for a rules engine configuration. In this exercise, we will have several members of the project team test our advanced design workflow. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to convey how the end users will prepare documents for the QA, QC process, and Recall how to use our menu options to work documents through the advanced design workflow. Recall the conceptual workflow process diagram. There are three checkpoints in the QA QC process. Work in progress, pending approval, and approved. The project team has agreed that the peer review will occur during the work in progress state a cross-discipline review will occur during the pending approval state, and a final constructability review will be done once the design is approved. To test the advanced design workflow, we will run user acceptance testing from three different roles. The highway designer will finish the peer review for a group of highway models. The structural engineer will review the highway models to make sure there are no conflicts with bridges. And the project manager will review the approved models for constructability. 30% models are now ready for peer review, including Church Road Geometry, Route 97 Geometry Super Elevation and Corridor, and the Ramp C Corridor. See the design by and drawn by columns to verify the information. <clears throat> We're almost ready to have our project team members test the rules engine configuration by working the documents in the test folder through the advanced design workflow. But before we begin UAT, let's review the components of the system, including the conceptual workflow process diagram and the rules worksheet. To test the workflow, we need to verify five rules, including number one, number two, number three, number four, and number six. We will conduct user acceptance testing to verify the rules. Let's see where the rules fall in the workflow and which role will be testing each rule. The highway designer will need to test rules 1 and 2. The structural engineer will need to test rules 3 and 4. And the project manager will need to test rule number 6. For UAT, the users will not need to know which rules they are testing. Rather, they need to know what button to press and what outcome is desired. Meet Viadotis Franklin. Highway Designer for the P2019-75 Highway Project. He'll test the peer review for us. Valuedotis will perform three tests. Test number one, log into the data source and initiate the workflow. Test two, reject a work in progress document. And test three, approve work in progress documents. Let's see if each test passes. For test number one, Viadotis logs into the data source and browses to the test folder. He then sets the workflow to advanced design workflow. The documents are put into the work in progress state. He then would review each document in the appropriate application, such as Open Roads Designer. Test number one passes. Test number two. When Viadotis checked the corridor ramp C model, he found that the model does not match up with the Route 97 corridor. 
Back in Project Wise Explorer, he enters a reject reason and saves the document attributes. He then rejects the document from the change state menu. A new version is created and given a new minor revision number. Test number two passes. Test number three. Biodotus has received the other models and reviewed them, and all seems well. He fills in the check by attribute for all of them at once using the modify tool. He then approves all at once and verifies that the submitted by attribute is populated and that the state changes to pending approval for each document. Test number three passes. We can now execute the cross-discipline review UAT. Melissa is one of the structural engineers for our highway project. She will test the cross-discipline review for us. Melissa will perform three tests. Test one, log into the data source. Test two, reject a pending approval document. And test three, approve pending approval documents. Let's see if each test passes. Test number one. Melissa logs into the data source and browses to the test folder. She would then review each document in the pending approval state in the appropriate application, such as OpenBridge Designer. Test number one passes. Test number two. When Melissa checked the Church Road Geometry model, she found that the Church Road Geometry does not clear ramp C due to a bent in her open bridge model. Back in ProjectWise Explorer, she enters a reject reason and saves the document attributes. She then rejects the document from the change state menu. A new version is created and given a new minor revision number. Test number two passes. Test three. Melissa reviewed the Route 97 models and all seems well. She approves them all at once and verifies that the approved by attribute is populated and that the state changed to approved for each Route 97 document. Test number three passes. We can now execute the constructability review UAT. Lisa McDougall is the project manager for the P2019-75 highway project and will test the constructability review for us. Lizzie will perform two tests. Test one, log into the data source, and test two, reject and approve document. Let's see if each test passes. Test one, log into the data source. Lizzie logs into the data source and browses to the test folder. She would then review each document in the approved state in the appropriate application, such as Open Bridge Designer or Open Road Designer, or from a design review session in the Project I model. Test number one passes. Test two, reject and approve document. Lizzie knows that Viadotis' team is reworking the Ramp C corridor. Therefore, the Route 97 corridor needs to be revised. Lizzie enters a reject reason, then rejects the document from the chain state menu. A new version is created and given a new major revision number. Test number two passes. We are now done with UAT. Congratulations. You now know how to conduct user acceptance testing, or UAT, for a rules engine configuration. We are now ready to wrap up this lesson group. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.